We've been having luck with the taped up ones. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a bayonet. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Comics. <laughs> oh boy. That door just. What is up, Locker Nuts? What do we have right here? <laughs> gun safe, gun safe from the Plumber Collector Unit. We've got 12 parts now that I put out of the Plumber's Collector Unit. I'm not even done with it. I still have about 15 boxes we have to go through. Amazing unit, great unit, like the best I've bought in a long time. This is one of the first items we found. Just to remind you, if you guys didn't see some of the earlier episodes, this was right inside the door to the left. The door, the, uh, this side was facing the wall. So if people looked in and saw it, I don't know if they recognize it as a gun safe. I think everyone was looking over here because there's so much going on, so many interesting items. Really a strange locker. Everyone's trying to figure it out, wrap their heads around it. I think everyone was too distracted to see this. I know I was, didn't even see it. But right away, as soon as I got back into that unit, I saw this, turned it around, thrilled, thrilled. So we've been saving this for last. I'll tell you what, that's the door you hear. Don't hear anything shaking around inside. I don't really, nothing. And it's, don't hear anything. But I'll tell you what, it's heavy. Now that could just be the safe. It does look like a pretty high quality safe. It's a Canon safe. Could just be extremely heavy, but I don't think so. I think it's consistent with the weight of if there are something in here, perhaps made out of metal, that would be heavy and adding to the weight. That's my gut feeling. Um, we had a gun safe like this before. You guys probably saw it. We've got like about a half a million views on it just about. And it also didn't shake around because there was some rifles in there wrapped in blankets. So I've waited long enough. I think we're gonna get to this now because you guys are sick of seeing toys. <laughs> Everyone's saying, tired of seeing toys. No more Hot Wheels, no more action figures, no more baseball cards. You wanna see something else? Well. I think this is it. And by the way, this shirt right here, I got that out of the unit. We found tons of bullets. Definitely signs that there's going to be something good inside here. But no more talking. Let's get to it. Now, here's my approach on this one. I prefer not to wreck the safe. Sometimes they have serial numbers on the locks. This one doesn't. So ordering a key, I don't think is an option. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just try and drill it out. I tried this on the last one. It didn't work. But I'm going to try to drill it out nice and straight and see if I can not ruin the safe get the locks off and then order new locks and keep the safe we'll see how it goes i'm not making any promises all right so we've laid it on the ground i put a blank moving blanket down because i've got this nice epoxy floor finish on the flooring i don't want to get it all scratched up unnecessarily I'm not saying we're going to scratch it up but just want to make sure it's protected let me get my drill we'll start drilling on here and see if we can get these open also i put on i'm putting on the gopro so you guys can get two views of the action here and uh hopefully it's good stuff also just to mention i wanted to do this outside like i did the last video it's a little windy today the wind's definitely picking up neighbors have a yappy dog there's some uh neighbors out front or people riding their bikes by it just seems to be a lot of noise today that i didn't want to deal with so we're bringing it in the garage i would normally not do this in the garage but today we're gonna roll with it Something just fell out the back. Did you hear that? It's not really good for the bits, guys, to do this, but. Since I buy my, I don't buy my bits, I get them out of the lockers. I don't, if I destroy a bit, it's not the end of the world. I prefer not to though. Well, guys, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing how to get this lock off. I just watched a couple YouTubes on how to drill out these locks and 
they did a lot easier than this so yeah we do have a little bit bigger bit but maybe that one's pretty big yeah we'll give it a shot progress though. We are getting down. Woo! That's it. That is it. Now what does that mean? I don't know, but we got the cylinder all the way out. The part the bolt part the the interior part just slipped through. We are through. Now, that does not mean that we're going to be able to get this door open, though. Because there's some bars here. So now we have no way of turning it and pulling those bars up. But, let's see. Let's, get, let's start working on this one now. Okay, we're losing juice. We lost our juice. Lost our juice. <sighs> Workbench is a little messy, guys. It's part of the deal of always on the go, always editing video, always buying lockers, always doing cleanouts. Not a lot of time to keep your workbench clean, but I don't know if that's really an excuse. It used to be clean. All right, let's go with this. Go back in. Yo, oh, that was it. Did you hear that? This time I did drill it out good enough that the bolt slipped right through. So we got both bolts through. This one a bigger hole, but this one went straight or did something right. We're through, guys. Woohoo! All right. This is good. Let's stand it up and see. What happens? Oh. Oh. Guys, it's heavy. Okay. Oh boy. That door just straight up went right open. I was not planning for that because I wanted to show you guys what it was in there. Okay. Ooh. Wowza, there's nothing holding that door open at all, man. Okay, so. Oh. This is good. I didn't ruin this safe. How do you like them apples? Oh. No. No. Oh, dang, guys. Look at this. Why is it so heavy? There's no guns in here. There's a gun case. Empty. All right. Tree bark, it says. And there's a shelf. That used to be up over here somewhere. Yep, there's some clips inside. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, no guns. What a huge disappointment. You know what that means? <laughs> you know what that means? We're going to have to get back to toys baseball cards hot wheels and all the rest of the stuff the good stuff that we've been finding all right guys well i hope you enjoyed that anyways <laughs> let me queue up some more of the unboxing videos uh so you can see more of the good stuff to come out and this stuff coming out hey it's going to be in our monday night auction at 6 p.m so all right guys how about a little unboxing all right all right all right Ooh, fantastic for the thing this is uh, the plastic's a little ripped right here, but and it's a little yellowed from age, but it still is brand new. That figure has never been touched. I find a lot of these. Ooh, young blood. Bad rock. Neat. Fantastic Four. The Human Torch. Okay, we got some more posters right here. Let's see what we got this time. I know that. That's Evil Dead. Let's see. Army of Darkness. Is it Evil Dead Part Three or something? <laughs> Too bad the condition's so poor. It might actually be worth something. Hellboy. 
sent to destroy. Nosferatu the Vampire. It's like a reproduction of the old movie, I think. Sepultura Roots. Huh. I don't I don't know what this band is. But it appears to be signed right here. The inside right here. Prometheus? What's this Prometheus right here? The dis Discipline of Fire and Demise. Motorhead. Hot Wheels Classic. Alright, this is going to be a reproduction. Kind of like the other set that we found. It's still neat. They're worth some money. I mean, not a lot of money, but it's worth a little bit of dough. You know, let's just say 2006. So, they're meant to look old, but they're not. Okay, next box. And I see more action figures. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, World of Warcraft. Apparently World of Warcraft had problems with the glue they used because this is the second one that we found with the sticker peeling off. But this is, uh... Yeah, this is another one. They're decent. Chain Attack Ghost Rider. Alright, look at that. It's got the mask there or i guess you pull his head out and put a different head on there so it's like the transformation in the ghost rider pretty cool x-men watch hmm. so star wars 10 empty john elway bendable collectible man look at all this more stuff more stuff wrestling guys okay just a couple more wrestling figurines these two guys came as a set. Yeah, check that out. Alright. More wrestling dudes. Oop. Oh man. G.I. Joe, but it's coming glued. It looks like it's complete though. 97, okay. Mankind. Why is it sideways? I wonder if yeah, you took it out and put it back in sideways, huh? What's this? <laughs> okay this is a whole bunch of accessories for the action figures and this is actually a really good find some of these pieces could be worth more than the action figures sword there's another sword sometimes this stuff is just crazy expensive because it's so hard to find huh. well that might be something for our auction R2-D2 Optimus Prime Oh, I was saying before It would be nice to find some Transformers Here's a part of a Transformer And then El Pez Yeah, check it out More action figurines And there's Oh, there's Is that Bullwinkle? Uh, but this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles This Turtles What the hell is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's good. Turtle stuff is hot. It is hot. There's another one. That's good. It's good. I don't know if you... Are you guys getting tired of looking at toys? Because... More new Ninja Turtles. Wow. And this stuff will definitely be coming home to go to a future live auction. More auction goods. Okay. Wheaties box. That's pretty gross. What is this stuff? Huh. That's brass. Look at this. <laughs> it's like a garden tool, but it's shaped kind of like a hand. It's more brass. Old tools. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. An old lock. Okay, big league chew. It's old. Is that stuff collectible? I don't know. Hmm. Just all stuff to go to the vintage market. Oh, Hot Wheels. As if we didn't have enough Hot Wheels. We got a whole bunch. This one looks smaller for some reason. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, there are tons. Tons and tons and tons and tons. So, I'll put these over in our Hot Wheel department. Okay, next box. Wow. More 
car stuff. Micro Machines. Super Rigs Matchbox. Taz Temporary Tattoo. 49ers. Hot Wheels. Is this is that old or made to look old? Racing Champions. Look at this, guys. There's just... There's so many. There's just so many. I don't even know... You know, how much of this I could show on camera because it just gets to be overload. Hot Wheels overload. This is a little heavy. Okay. What do we got here? There's a fishing reel. Old fishing reel. What is this? Uh, an old flashlight? Like. Need for a bike or something? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a bayonet. I know exactly what this is because I have one on my desk. Bayonet. That is pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to have to look at this thing a little more closely. That's really nice. Huh. I don't see any markings on here, but I'm sure it's here. This one's got the tag on it. Flashy. Huh. Uh, like a lamp, little, a lamp. That's what it looks like. Let's see if we can find the glass piece to go in there. Oh wow, look at this old Yahtzee. Old Yahtzee cup. There's some old dice. And there's some more dice. Raiders. Some more Raider stuff in here. Bottle opener. <laughs> okay, what's this? Old NFL tray. It's cracked up though. It's too bad. Ooh. What's underneath it? We've got some good looking stuff here. Here's a Millennium Falcon. Oh. Okay, this is definitely later. This is not one of the earlier ones. Hmm. I think this is like one of those micro machine ones, maybe. Okay, where's the trick? Because it's going to open. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it is, like a Micro Machines. They made little tiny Star Wars figures and stuff that you could play with these little mini sets. Looks like you had it hanging from the ceiling or something. Alright. It's old lampshade. Oh, here's the, here's the lamp. Looks like it mounts to the wall. Hey, that's pretty, isn't it? Look at that. That's so cool. It's almost got like a steampunk look to it. See it? It's very cool. Okay, here's a little railroad Tyco telephone poles. Okay, and then this. Look at this. Airline. It's an old radio. Wow. Ward's airline radio. Huh. <laughs> Great stuff. Stuff just looks so cool sitting up on the shelf, you know. Next box. Taped up. We've been having luck with the taped up ones. Let's see what we got here. Yes. Action figures. Ooh, we got Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt. What's that? Huh. That thing. Wood. Huh. It's almost like a transformer, but looks like you have a little guy that sits inside of it. Pretty cool. There's the human torch. Oh yeah, venom. Saber tooth maybe. Bishop. These are some these are big guys. Oh, Doc Ock. Look at that. Dr. Octopus. These are big characters. I don't 
They're heavy too. They feel really like high quality. Gambit. One of these 12 inch characters. Lord of the Rings. What is that? It's somebody's foot. It's like a tank foot. Yeah. Okay, here's a little Transformer dude. Optimus Prime, probably. More Lord of the Rings Strider. Got a bunch of Lord of the Rings. I don't think these Lord of the Rings are too valuable. Oh, the Ozzy Osbourne car. Still finding some more car stuff. That's a Transformers logo. Lord of the Ring. The Ring Wraith. Witch King. King Theoden. Legolas. Very cool. Easterling? Huh. Oh, look at that. There's Saruman. This guy had to think for Ghost Rider, too. There's a big 10 inch tall Ghost, Ghost Rider. Planet Hollywood the game. Hmm. Alright, guys. This is my last box. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Comics. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope my GoPro lasts for this last box. And, uh,. X-Men 302. Oh boy, I hope they do because I'm going to take my time on this. All right, guys, we're not going to put you through every single comic. I like looking at every single comic to come out, but we're not going to do that. We're going fast motion uh, to speed through it so you can just get an idea of what come out. A lot of comics, nothing super old, but uh, definitely good titles. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Another good day of unboxings. A lot more interesting sto stuff, toys, antiques, comic books love this stuff this is what i look for in a locker unfortunately the gun safe wasn't quite as exciting right that was a little bit of a letdown and i'm really sorry about that i thought for sure because of the weight of it that there were contents inside even though we couldn't hear them that happened to me before and the gun safe was the last gun safe i opened had some good stuff in it wrapped in blankets so you couldn't hear anything it was all it was all nicely insulated it wasn't moving around but you could tell by the weight that it felt heavy. This one also. Good save. Thanks so much for watching. If you can't tell, I'm struggling with a little bit of cold. Got back from Disneyland. Hit me like a freight train last night. I was in misery. And when I was watching, just editing that video, watching myself yesterday, earlier in the day when I was opening the safe, I could tell by my eyes. I don't know if you noticed, but I de that cold was definitely coming on hard. And uh, last night, boom, it hit me. I'm starting to come up a little bit. So hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better because I got a lot to do. We got our live show tomorrow. Don't miss it, 6 p.m. Pacific. Our live shows are every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific. And included in that is a live auction segment where you can buy some of the great items that you see coming out of the lockers, okay? Including some of the toys, some of the, well, we didn't find baseball cards, but we often auction out baseball cards, comics, a lot of this stuff we're going to have up for auction, so it's your chance to own a part of it. All right, thanks you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, please. Even though I pro even though the safe was empty, hit me that thumbs up. Come on, just show me that you like, like the fact that I take you along for the adventure. All right, like the fact that we buy these units just to see what's inside. Like the fact that you can uh, watch it from the comfort of your home, not get dust or rat poop or uh, any, you know, pull your muscles or anything you get to experience this without any of the downside all right if you would i really appreciate it and also subscribe to the channel we're almost at 40k 40,000 subscribers so amazing guys this time last year i wasn't even at a thousand yet <laughs> that's incredible thank you so much for everyone who's been a part of that journey and part of locking us today and if you're a new subscriber we really really appreciate you um make sure to come on for monday night live it's a good time for everybody so again thanks you guys so much for watching we'll have another video soon all right hopefully i'm feeling a little better hopefully i'm on the way up because it is tough doing this stuff when you're out of cold but um it's all right i can't i you can't keep me away <laughs> you can't keep me away it's too much fun i'm gonna be back digging tomorrow more videos coming. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Loganuts.